blue lipstick for men. Girl, we gotta try this out. <laughs> Hello you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another one of our friends and revolution videos and today after I put a poll on YouTube, I put a poll on Instagram and my Patreon group chat, Joy's palette was the one that won in every single poll that I did. So that's what we're going to do today. So today we have a Joy's palette that we're going to test out and we're also going to test out Phoebe's setting spray as well. Hello and welcome. If you're new by the way, I'm Lucy Stevenson but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing a 11k giveaway coming very very soon. I'm thinking more like the back end of next week once I've done all the friends stuff and everything as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you haven't already, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. So this is what Joy's palette looks like. As always, the outer packaging matches the palette itself. Nine shades, just like the other ones. And this is what it looks like. A very, very colourful, very, very kind of, gives me like, I don't know, like fruity vibes. These are what the shades look like up close. Let's do some swatches and let's put this on my eyeballs. Mm. So this is what the swatches look like. We have Joy, Dr. Drake, which looks beautiful. Mary Angela, Nat Partner, Trifle, Turkey, Bamboozled, Tribbiani, and then Junior. Okay, so as normal, prepping the skin with the P. Louise base in room number two, and I'm gonna blend it out with my Peaches and Cream PC18 brush, and just kind of tap this all over the lid. This palette, by the way, retails for £8. I've done a full haul video of all the stuff that I picked up from the Friends stuff. So I'll leave everything linked down below if you want to go check it out or any of the other stuff that I've tried so far. We've done Chandler, we've done We Were On A Break. And I'm thinking tomorrow is most likely going to be the other Forever Flawless palette as that was getting quite a lot of votes. I literally have no clue where I'm going to go with this. So I'm literally just going to take it. As it comes. So taking the Spectrum A13 brush, which just looks like this, and I think I'm going to start off with Trifle, which is the orange in the palette. I want to stay away from a cut crease today because obviously I've done that for the past two looks. So I'm just applying this into the crease. You can see that pigmentation straight away. So now that I've got that shape down, it's just my head and by the way that my eyes are both different shapes because I feel like it just never looks like it matches, but we move. So taking the shade Turkey, which is the yellow, and it's just a I Heart Revolution brush, it's just from one of the Christmas gift sets. And I'm going to use this to start blending out this orange, kind of half on the bare skin and half on the actual orange shade itself. This yellow is really pigmented, by the way, considering it's a yellow. Normally they're really hard to kind of do right. But I'm actually quite impressed with this. I was quite impressed with the yellow that was in the palette yesterday, the We Were On A Break palette. As it starts coming more towards the inner corner, I'm putting more of the brush on the orange so that it's not as kind of chunky in the inner corner, if that makes sense. So I'm more on the orange and only a little bit onto the bare skin. I kid you not, that was so bloody easy to blend out. Okay. So, I don't really know what I'm doing next, to be honest with you. I think I'll put the pink on the lid to first, um, like to begin with, and then we'll see how we feel. So I'm gonna go in with the Mary Angela. And I'm just using a Kit Stars S32 shade brush. This Mary Angela shade is so pigmented. Like, my finger's a little bit stained off it, and I've actually used like a Lancome water, like um, eye makeup remover, which is like normally strong and gets everything off it but it is stained on my finger and it's stained a little bit on my arm. I don't know if you can see where it, <laughs> it was swatched as well. I've decided I'm gonna put that orange in the outer corner. So I'm just gonna pack that on and I'm just doing just kind of a blown out shape. I don't know what it is for it. It's not a rounded eye, so whatever the opposite of that is, that's what I'm doing. And I'm lightly kind of tapping that into the crease as well. And then taking a Kit Stars S30 small tapered blender brush. It is clean, it's just a bit stained. And I'm just gonna blend out the edge of this pink. 
especially in this outer corner as well because I don't want it to kind of take up the outer bit I want it to just kind of blend effortlessly into it so I think what we'll do is we'll put on the green mat that I was going to put down anyways so I'm just using a little pixie this is the EO3 brush and we're going to go in with the shade Tribbiani so that's it with the green underneath and now let's go in with now let's try this brush this is the morphe m222 222 brush and i'm going to go in with the shade junior i don't know how well it's going to work on this brush okay so what i will say about that shade is it's more of like a chunky glitter than it is like a shimmer it's very kind of chunky on the brush as well and to apply so this is what it looks like and then i'm going to go in with the shade nap partner and I'm just going to use the same brush but just wipe it off because it was flaky so it wouldn't even be on the brush anyway. So let's go in with the shade Nap Partner which is kind of a more lighter shimmer in the palette. Oh that is nice though when it does go on. So now that I've finished off the rest of my makeup I'm going to try the famous blue Joy lipstick first before I go in with the normal lip that I would wear with this kind of combination. This is what it looks like. This retails for, I believe it was £6, if you remember rightly. And it's the Friends and Revolution Lipstick for Men. Just absolute classic when it comes to Friends. And this is what it looks like. So it's like their normal components, especially like the Rachel, Monica and Phoebe one from the first collection that they did. And obviously it has a little blue bit and obviously the outer packaging is blue. And this is what it looks like. So on the website, it said that you can kind of put one layer on and it'll be like a balm, like just a light colour, or you can build it up to get that true kind of joy look. So let's put a light layer on first. Ooh, that is actually like a balmy texture. I must admit, I literally bought this just because it's a classic. Like I probably wouldn't use it, but I love it. I love that they actually did it. So that is what one layer looks like. Let's build it up. Because his was quite blue when he did that commercial. So it doesn't go kind of as blue as what his did. It's more of like a, like a milky blue, isn't it? Because it's more of a balm texture. But I like how they've done it because obviously it makes it a lot more wearable obviously not this many layers like just a light layer would be a lot more wearable for people however the makeup game is very strong now people would have bought it if it was a true blue lipstick and would have wore it as well because we're just a lot more adventurous with our makeup nowadays but yeah that is what it looks like i must admit it actually does feel like a really nice lip balm one of the things that i got from the first no the second drop was the little lip mask and I must admit, like I've been using this so much recently, the tiniest bit goes such a long way because it is such a thick lip mask. It's perfect to put on before you go to bed and the tub is absolutely massive, like 12 grams inside there as well. So I would really recommend it. I do have the lip scrub, but I haven't tried that yet. Before I put my red lip on that I'm gonna try, let's try the Phoebe setting spray. So this is the Brightening Fixing Spray with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. This is a mini setting spray. It retails for six pound. Each of the girls have one in this third collection. As far as we're aware, the third collection is the last one that Friends and Revolution are doing together. However, if they brought more out in the future, which would be really, really cool. I do think they should do like a boy version of, of the setting sprays and do different scents. So in my um, Chandler palette review, I tested the Monica one, which smelled like, like a sweet pineapple. This one's meant to smell like a citrusy scent and the one that we'll try with Ross's one, which will be Rachel's one, is meant to be strawberry. So let's give it a bit of a spray. I was really impressed with Monica's, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this one is like. Oh. It is a citrusy smell, but it's not like a tangy one. <gasps> Ooh. Let's dry that with my mirror. <laughs> and then this is what it looks like with that spray kind of fully dried down. I do feel like it's very similar to the Monica one in regards to kind of making your skin look less powdery, but also look more radiant and a bit more, not I want to say dewy, but not like in a sweaty way. like. Just naturally, like the same as before with the Monica one, I haven't put any highlighter on my forehead. But with that spray now, it makes it just look naturally kind of 
dewy and just radiant with the skin that I've got on, like with the foundation and everything. I'm really impressed. I do feel like both of them are brightening. Obviously this one's meant to be brightening and the Monica one was meant to be calming. But I do actually think they're really, really, really good, which I'm very surprised about. So I'm gonna pop some lipstick on and I think I'm gonna put a little red lip on. So I'll pop that on and I'll be back in a second. So this is the finished look. I'd love to know what you think down below. I'm not even joking, I'm literally feeling myself right now. I am obsessed with how this looks. Right, I'm gonna do a quick little run through of what I think of the products and then I'll show you what else I've put on the rest of my face because I forgot to do that yesterday. Let's go. So, the Joy palette. I absolutely love this. The shimmers just didn't work for me. And I know my friend Lizzie put in her um, Patreon group, because I'm one of her Patreons, that she just wasn't gelling well with the exact same shimmers that didn't seem to work well for me. So maybe it's just a shimmer formula in this. Maybe it just doesn't work the best. I don't really know what it is. The matte in here blended like a dream. Absolutely beautifully together obsessed. I really like that this is quite colourful. I think it's a bit different and yeah I just think I just I just think it's cute as if you love friends you're gonna absolutely love this. No doubt about it. As for the little blue lip balmy lipstick thing I actually think it's really cute. I think it would have been scandalous of them not to do this with a friends collection. Like if they got to drop three and they still hadn't done this and obviously apparently there's no more collections coming from friends and revolution it'd just be something that the just I just would have been shocked why they wouldn't have even included this. So I'm so glad they listened to us and I'm so glad that they actually did it. I think if they did do it as like a pigmented lipstick, people would have still bought it, people would have still wore it. However, by doing it as like a lip balm that you can kind of build up to kind of like a milky blue kind of look, I think it kind of fits a lot more people because it's a lip balm. It's something people can just kind of quickly shove on. I think the packaging is beautiful. I love that they did the packaging, like the dark blue as well. I just think it's classic and I think if you love friends, you're gonna absolutely love that. You're gonna you're gonna be obsessed with it. As for the setting spray, Phoebe's one, beautiful. So excited to try um, Rachel's one because that one's strawberry, which is my favourite scent ever. But I thought this was really, really nice as well. I didn't expect myself to like the scent of the citrus one as much as what I do. And I just feel like it gives such a brightness to your highlight that you've already got on but also just makes the rest of your face just naturally look radiant. I mean, this is a brightening one, but I feel like Monica's did quite the same. I just love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. For £6, if you haven't got the setting sprays yet, because you're just like, oh, I'll just leave it. It's a setting spray. Buy it. I promise you, you will love it. It's £6 for 30 mils. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. <laughs> if you're wondering what little lip combination I've got on, it's actually my first time trying both of these products. The first one is the Doll Beauty Bleeding Gorge Red Liquid Lipstick that they did like in their Valentine's Day collection. Unreal. Really like it. it has got like more of like a tint of pink to it, which goes really, really well with this look because obviously this is pink that we've got on the lid, not red. And then the gloss that I put on top is from Lime Crime. It's the Flirty Cherry Wet Cherry Gloss. This smells like drumsticks literal straight up drumsticks unbelievable and that's literally all i've got on no lipstick i was going to put a red lipstick on but this by itself unreal right quickly for the rest of my makeup for the highlighter i've got the elf um glow gleam beam highlighter palette in this one in on <laughs> in the shade light and i use this and a tiny little bit of this one but mainly this one for my highlighter for mascara top lashes i've got on the um, Lift and Define 5D Lash Mascara from Revolution for underneath my lashes. As always, bottom lashes is the bottom one from Ardell. Bronzer, did you expect any different? Dark Tan, my nice skin finish from MAC. Blusher, I actually used the Beauty Bakery Blush Palette, which just looks like this. This was in a Christmas gift set quite a bit ago. And I used this one and I mixed, to it. I mixed them all, but I used mainly the top one, just to kind of tie it in a little bit more. For setting powder, I use a Revolution, just a translucent one from their Christmas gift set. Underneath my eyes, I use the MAC NC30 Studio Fix powder foundation for the rest of my face. For the foundation, I use, again, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Really, really liking that recently. For the lashes, <laughs> I've kept the little boxes so I knew what they were. These are, again, from like a Christmas gift set, but from Primark banging. I am really, really impressed with these. I think they look really, really nice. For concealer, I've used the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the satin finish one, so the more, obviously, hydrating one. 
<laughs> and this is in the shade Fair Warm, Unreal. I feel like it blurred underneath my eyes. I don't know what it was, but it was really, really nice. And then we have a cream bronzer, it's just from 17. They don't do it anymore. Um, then we have the NYX Tinted Brown Mascara in the shade Black, as always. And then for my primer, I actually have put the rest of it in this little um, tub that my friend Lenan gave me for me. <laughs> Main is when I go to work, but obviously I've been working from home for a year, so that's not really happened. That is actually some of the Laura Mercier kind of traditional foundation primer that everyone raves about. That's what I've got on, and I've also got a little bit of the That Gal Brighten and Face Primer on from Benefit as well. And I think that is everything that is on my face, obviously including the Joy stuff and the Phoebe setting spray that we've tried as well. Obsessed with how this has turned out. Really happy that I'm pushing myself these past couple of days to try new things with the more brighter side of palettes. We have two palettes left, which actually seems to be the more neutral palettes that we have left to test. We have Ross's one, which is a lot more neutral, and we also have this one, which is the I'll Be There For You palette. Please let me know in the comments down below which one you want me to test, to test first, because I'll do that for tomorrow's video, and then obviously I'll do the other one for Tuesdays. So let me know. I think this one I'll go for more of like a dark, grungy kind of side of it because obviously I will go more lighter browns and golds and stuff in the Ross palette. So yeah, please, please let me know. And when we test this one, I'll also test the sponges as well. And when we test the Ross's palette, the Ross palette, I'll also test Rachel's setting spray. Okay, okay. I just had my tea and I feel like... <laughs> said like a nice... um roast dinner it's really nice but yeah thank you so much for watching i will leave all the other videos linked down below if you want to see what other videos i did on my other revolution videos my playlists all that kind of good stuff i will leave it linked down below and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for either the forever flawless one that i'll be there for you palette or rossi's one i'll see you tomorrow anyways love you so much thank you so much for watching please hit subscribe goodbye <laughs>